and welcome back to the Ocean Stage at North Shipping 2023. Uh, today, our next guest on the Ocean Stage is the CEO of OSM Tome. Finn, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting us. So, Finn, uh, your merger has, of course, been a hot topic as of late. Tell us a little bit more about the merger. Uh, what was the rationale for the merger? And ultimately, what's the benefit going to be for the clients and industry at large? Sure, uh, Aaron, I will. First of all, we are thrilled about the merger. It's quite recent, as you know. It was announced just uh, some, some couple of weeks back. So, um, so uh, yes, we are thrilled. And this is really a, uh, say a strategic move on us to create a uh, real powerhouse in, within ship management. So um, I think um, size provides a lot of benefits to us, but it provides also a lot of benefits to our customers. Uh, mentioning some few, uh, following the merger, we have uh, a very large global footprint. So we have seafarers from all possible nations. We have technical management hubs in very many countries. So we are near customers, and we have good access to seafarers. And also, um, size gives financial opportunities. So it's, uh, for us, uh, easier to innovate and to create right. new technical solutions that can benefit our customers and, and ourselves. So speaking about your customers, building on that a little bit, uh, how are you evolving to meet the changing needs of your customers? And what are some of the biggest challenges that they're facing in today's market? I think some of the biggest challenges that, that our customers are facing is, uh, uh, let's say, a mixture of complexity and cost. Uh, maybe add some uncertainty on top, particularly related to the environmental challenges sure. that uh, so many ship owners are facing. What should be the next sort of fuel? What should be the next type of propulsion, etc.? But um, so, so I think those are some, some significant challenges. Uh, we hope to help our customers in building, uh, building good services so that we can help them uh, uh, facing the environmental challenges by having a good, uh, provide them with good services, good advisory. Uh, so, uh, you know, I find that ship management is really economics for scale. And you need scale to provide those type of services. And now, managing so many vessels, we have that scale and the opportunity to provide good services to our customers. Sure. Now, how is your role as a third party manager changing? I think it's changing quite significantly over the last, let's say, decades from being, having a pure sort of uh, operational focus to become more of a strategic partner to our customers, providing a lot of advisory. And maybe if I could take one example, the EU ETS system, sure. it will be a lot on us. So we will actually organize, manage, even fund and pay a lot of the, the, these, uh, these new sort of rules and regulations. So I think that's just one good example showcasing how different our role has been compared to last. So now you have the merger under your belt. Uh, looking ahead, what are the key areas of focus now going forward? I think the key areas for us now really, number one, is to take good care of our customers and to, to, to basically deliver beyond expectation to our existing customers. There's always a danger, you know, that we can be a bit too focused on the merger itself. We shouldn't be that, we should be focused on our customers. So I think that's really number one. Number two, going a bit sort of, uh, uh, thinking a bit out in time, is really to focus on those innovations that can help our customers and their, and their operations. And um, uh, thirdly, make sure that we do the integration well. And with that, Finn, thank you so much for joining us today on the Ocean Stage. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>